Hi guys, so today I am doing this strip down challenge and um, so basically what this is, I'm just going to get right into it because um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this video going around on YouTube, but I actually saw one of my friends here on YouTube, her name is Lindsay. Um, I feel like this is going to be such a mess of a video. Um, because I tend to have brain farts like, th like this, and I like mess with my words often, and my dogs are barking. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm already messing up. Okay, well basically, one of my friends, Lindsay, one of my friends, her name is Lindsay, she actually was one of the first ones that I've ever seen here on YouTube um, post this video, and ever since she did it, it was like, I don't know, a month ago, something like that, a few weeks ago. I saw her post it and I was like, wow, that looks really interesting. So I decided like, oh, I want to do that. But then I just got lazy. Well, it's not really that I got lazy. It's just that I, I've been flooded with like schoolwork and like my personal life and just things like that. So I just never got around to doing it. And I just thought that it was time for me to do it until you, because you guys are eventually going to get tired of them, see, like seeing them all over YouTube. So I just wanted to get this up for you guys. And so basically... You have no edits at all, and you have nothing planned to talk about. So I'm just going to get my timer for 10 minutes and just talk for 10 minutes, and then we'll see how it goes. So here's my 10-minute timer. Also, I got a new phone. Um, this is the iPhone 6S with the gold color. So I'm just going to start right now, and let's go. Okay. I feel really nervous seeing this. <laughs> Okay, because I don't even know what I'm going to be talking about, but, okay. Well, this is a real me. You guys see me without no edits, no, um, no anything, just talking for 10 minutes, and I'm getting goosebumps right now just thinking about it. My eyes are watering a little bit because I'm nervous. Um, uh, okay. What else should we talk about? Okay. So I have lots of school stuff. Um, going on. I'm good. Okay, is it just me or am I the only one that gets nervous with like, like if you see? I don't know. I'm just so weird. If I see my phone on like this, and like the light is just staring at me, I will feel. I have like OCD almost. Um, like I keep like looking over. Like I can't stop. I really cannot. Um, just like stop looking at my phone. I'm like, like if my phone, if my phone light is on, like if it's not off. I will feel like nervous, like I have to check it, like something's gonna happen, I don't know, it's weird. Um, let me know if you guys do that too, because I don't want to feel like a weirdo. I don't really know of anyone that does that, but, um, okay. So, I actually saw a, um, one of these videos made from, um, Tori Sterling, I'm sure you guys know of her. She makes amazing videos. Um, she has an- why is- is my camera crooked? It is. There we go. I think that's straight. Yeah, that's- okay, wait, I'm just gonna leave that because I'm probably gonna make it worse. Okay, so today is a Friday afternoon. It's, uh, 3.08. Oh my god, look at my background. Justin, yes. Okay, I feel like I'm going to run out of time because I just can go on and on talking about stuff. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. I get um, off track a lot. Um, what was he talking about? I completely forgot what I was talking about. Okay, well, yeah, Tor Tori Sterling. I met her once um, in the talent lounge at PewDieCon LA just this past year, 2015. Not this past year, what am I talking about? This year, 2015, um, PewDieCon LA. I... I, I complimented her on something. I was just like, oh, I like your hair. And she was like, thanks, I like your suit. Um, yeah, I watched her videos. She's really cool. Um, and I just love her genu genuineness. Genu she's, she seems genuine. Um, she's amazing at makeup. I just love how much of a passion she has for that. But anyway, off topic. Um, what I was talking about is I saw her interpretation of this video. And... She was like, she said some crazy things about YouTube, like not crazy in a bad way, but like, but like, really, like relatable things. Like I totally feel her on this. Like so, I guess this will be kind of like a response video to hers. But um, I really, 
I really understand where she's coming from with that and um, I just kind of wanted to add some things onto that um, about like what she was saying and whatnot. My dogs keep barking. I'm so salty about that. Um, she just said so many things and my head has just so many thoughts and I'm kind of scared that I'm not going to be able to like put it in in like the 10, 10, like, less than 10 minutes that I have to talk about it. Um, I saw it about two days ago, two, three days, two days ago, I think. Um, and she said that YouTube kind of like isn't exactly how it was before and it really wasn't. Just yesterday I was looking back at like, I'm going to get emotional just talking about this because I felt hurt on so many levels. Like, um, but like YouTube used to be so genuine and like, and like I can't even trust some people that talk about some products. I'm not saying everyone, but some, some people, um, I can't like, I feel like I can't fully trust their opinion about some products because, um, you know, like you don't know if it's the truth or not. But, um, just like Tori said, I don't lie to you guys about products. I seriously only talk about products that I truly like and I'm not going to be promoting some like crappy product that I don't like for I don't know like for like a seven minute video um I just think that that's pointless because YouTube I started off YouTube as something that like um okay guys before you guys say anything I'm not trying to copy Tori at all like with with her words or whatever she said I'm just saying my own opinion on like what she said um like the same topic you know what I mean I get really off track and there's like a fuzz right here I'm sorry there's just like so many thoughts in my head and I just can't get them out like I just wish you guys could like like understand what I'm trying to say but it's just that it really frustrates me because I was just watching Na um, Candy's Candy's video Candy Johnson's video um, from like I don't know six years ago and the Okay, this is what I really want to say. This I don't think Tori said this at all, but this is just what I wanted to add on. So I was watching Candy's video a video this other day. It was like six years ago, um, but I was just watching them yesterday, two days ago. Um, and I saw, because I was watching one of her videos, and then in the suggested was her really old video. She was doing a Gwen Stefani makeup look, and like the quality was was like not all that great and this is gonna make me so emotional like i can't even deal <sighs> okay like it's just so sad because because like now we have i didn't even want this video to like be like this because uh uh okay because i'm just like an emotional person this this sucks um okay this is me trying to not cry um, so like before, people, like us YouTubers, we would have like, it didn't even matter like the quality of the video, uh, it didn't even matter like the quality of the video, like people would make videos on like really, really pixelated cameras, like little, like digital cameras, or we would even do it on our webcam and people would like love us, okay, this is going to turn off. People would love our videos no matter what, like, now I feel like it's almost like a competition, and I know that's, like, life, but, like, I don't know. I just think it's, like, really, oh, God, I spent, uh, no, my under eye highlight, okay. Um, but, like, before, like, I feel like now it's, like, a competition, and, like, if you don't have, like, if you're a YouTuber that's, like, starting out, it's like really hard because like I understand where you guys are coming from because I started off YouTube thinking that I wasn't going to get any subscribers but like now here I am like almost at 200,000 subscribers I have about 175 right now oh my gosh I am such an emotional person and I don't know but these thoughts have been in my head for like months and months like years actually it's like the past year how much time do I have let me see Two minutes that went by so fast okay if i go over my minutes i'll just keep on talking because i really wanted to, wanted to talk to you guys about this subject okay i just ruined my face okay well what i was saying like now it's a competition and i don't really know how to explain it but before like it would be like 
you could do crappy videos with like horrible lighting but like nowadays it's like people won't even bother watching you if you have a like a webcam only um or if you just have like a pixelated little camera or if you do like i don't know videos on your ipod i don't know something with like not that creative quality like i mean some people will watch you but like most people like they only want to watch people with like really good quality and it's just really hard to keep up with that and like before people like i said like six years ago when youtube just started like everything was just like so genuine and i don't know i think that um Tori's video just really made me emotional like I was sobbing even more than I am now but it's just like uh, I don't know if you guys are youtubers please comment below and let me know what you guys think um yeah and also hate comments I see you see I have so many thoughts in my head that like I don't know that I just wanna that I can't get them out because it's just so many things that I have to talk about but like about the whole competition thing like it feels like you have to spend tons and tons of money for people to actually want to keep watching you you know and i'm i appreciate all of you guys so much that just stay with me no matter like how, like no matter if my editing isn't as great as other youtubers because it's really not but i just really appreciate all of you guys that um that like appreciate my videos and don't send me like hate mail, um, hate comments, um, I feel like so out of breath and like I feel like I'm being super dramatic but you, you some of you YouTubers may know what I'm talking about, like you guys that make content. Oh god that scared me. <laughs> oh that was it, 10 minutes, okay. I'm just gonna keep going because I have lots of stuff to talk to you guys about, um, but I'm just gonna finish it off on this topic. Um, I can't even remember what I was saying. I have a really sporadic mind and it's kind of a problem. Okay, well. So I'm just really thankful for all of you that have just like stuck with me for this whole journey. And even if you're new, you're awesome too. I love all of you guys that spread positivity on my channel. And um, with like hate. You know, I just really don't understand that, and I don't want to get too deep into it, but, um, race, like, I don't like to talk about hate that much on my channel, um, because I don't really want to be talking about that, I want to be the person that, that, um, thinks she has haters, because people get offended about everything. Mm, but, I just wanted to say that... I don't understand haters. I don't understand them. Like, what's the point? I've been getting quite a bit of hate recently. And, um, like, you know, it usually doesn't affect me at all. Um, see, I'm not even crying about the haters right now. It's just, I'm just, like, kind of set, 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 to, okay, emotional about how YouTube has changed so much and it's, like, not even the same thing anymore. Okay. Um, but about haters, like, do you guys have, like, do, you guys don't have anything better to, to, like, talk about than being concerned about us, um, as in YouTubers, our lives. I mean, it's great if you just watch, and if you don't like us, then, you know, you can keep watching us, but that, you don't have to comment, or you don't even have to watch us in the first place if you hate us so much. Just, like, get out of here, like, nobody wants you in the comment box because you end up getting attacked later on and do you do realize if you're commenting something mean you're gonna get so many comments from the people that actually like to watch us they're going to attack you because well sometimes they'll attack you because they disagree with you and everyone has an opinion yeah I get that but like what gives like why why do you even bother like taking out the minute of your life to comment something unnecessary, like, yeah, everybody has an opinion, but why do you have to comment it? I really don't get it, okay? Um, I mean, I get if it's construct constructive criticism, but, y like, I don't understand why you would, like, even bother saying something just plain out rude, like, 
I don't even know, but people are going to be commenting back to you no matter what. And you know what? You are probably going to get offended by the response that you get from your hate comment from other people. Like disagreeing with you, saying how the YouTuber doesn't deserve this or whatever. And you're going to go back onto my video, watch, comment something else. And you do realize that every time you leave a hate comment, someone's going to reply and then someone's going to reply to you. And you're going to be going back onto my video, which equals one more view for me. And not only me, other YouTubers too. And then someone else is going to reply, someone else is going to reply, like tons and tons of people, like 10 people are going to reply to you. Each time that you come back on to reply to a comment towards you, it equals more views for me. And you know what that means? YouTubers get paid for you to come back onto our videos. So if you really don't like us that, that much, like I'm just being honest, like if you don't like us that much, then why are you literally paying us? like to hate like does that ever cross your mind like everyone knows that youtubers get paid yeah some more than others some less than others it really doesn't matter but you're still paying us to to hate if that makes any sense i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying but this just really frustrates me and why take the time to even do that i don't know but that's just my opinion <sighs> I'm really glad that I got to get that out, but um, I feel like I feel really light now because that I just needed to let that out and having no edits, no cuts on this just made me a hundred thousand more times um, feel a lot better about this because you guys understand like who I am and you guys understand that I'm not faking my videos because this is exactly how I act in my videos like this is me and um, yeah so that's it for this video. I really enjoy. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about uploading this video. But thank you guys so much for um, bringing all this positivity to my videos. If you guys can relate to anything in this video, leave your opinion down below. Um, but remember, those of you who are thinking about commenting something rude, you're just paying me. You're literally paying me. But um, I love you guys so, so much. Those of you who bring love and support to my channel and positivity, I love you guys so, so much. And I cannot thank you guys enough for um, allowing, me to, allowing me to get to where I am now. I'm not saying I'm huge or anything, but I'm just saying that you guys helped me out a lot by, um, you know, supporting me and whatnot. Um, but that's all I really wanted to say. I love you guys a ton, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.